Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. It's been a little while, but it's time to make a video talking about the different apps that I've been using on my Android phone, specifically the OnePlus 8 Pro, which I have right here, which has that great 120 hertz AMOLED display of course, making apps look very good on it. Now we'll touch on some apps I've used for a while that I use all the time, but also some new ones that I've been checking out lately, hopefully giving you guys some ideas of apps you want to check out yourself. So let's go ahead and get into the video. What's on my Android phone? Here is my OnePlus 8 Pro with a good amount of apps installed overall. When it comes to the launcher, this is the stock OnePlus launcher, but I just really want to have the Google feed on the left side. I'm a big fan of it showing the weather, the time, date, and then just some different news that's tailored towards me. Let's start with some of the newer apps I've been using. First of all, the Volv app. Essentially, their goal is to get you a news feed that's very easy and quick to read. It'll give you a short paragraph on what the article is all about. And if it is something you want to actually read more about, just go ahead and tap learn more and it brings it on up from diff various news sources. You'll see this one is Wall Street Journal, but there's all different kinds of news sources for this. Next is WTMP, standing for Who Touched My Phone. This is just a second layer of security or privacy for your phone if you need it. I have no reports, I erase some of them, but to turn it on, you just go through the setup process, press the power button here, and we're good to go. So what this is going to do is when you lock your phone, it will go ahead and let's say, for example, I go ahead and try to unlock it. Maybe you'll see that camera actually, that front camera turns on so we can go ahead and unlock it. Maybe we wanna open up an app, let's go to the Play Store. Let's go back home and let's close out. And again, let's open it back up, go back into the app. And it actually keeps a log of everything that was done throughout that experience because we actually have it turned on. So there you have it. It actually uh, shows up a picture of who unlocked the phone. There's me shooting the video open the OnePlus Launcher, open the Google Play Store at specific times. So a pretty cool app, just something that you potentially could have in the background that you go ahead and just press power and then lock your phone if for whatever reason you need it. Next is an app we can use to customize our volume rockers. You'll see on the left side, this is the OnePlus style that they use, very similar to stock Android. It's called volume styles. So you'll see you have stock Android, you can switch to iOS, you have Samsung's One UI, you have a couple you can pay for, maybe a cool one such as Wave. So if we select wave and hit start and then go back home and we go to the volume rocker, you'll see it has that wave style to all of them. If we wanna turn the alarm volume down, maybe our call volume down, it has that wave style. Let's check out Samsung's One UI style going to it. Similar icons that Samsung does use. Going into settings, just a different animation for ring, alarm, and different volume features. And yes, they do have iOS. So let's check that out very quickly. Very similar, but one thing you'll notice is that it's a very simple bar similar to iOS. And if you want to expand on it, you have to tap on it and then tap on it again to expand on it, which is why I probably am not gonna use the iOS one with that extra action to tap on it. You'll see once it goes away, it is nice and minimal, I will say, but that extra action to get to my further uh, volume controls is just a little too much for me. Next up is the Band app, and they are the sponsor of this video. However, their app is pretty incredible. It's free in the Play Store and the App Store. Now, I use the Band app for a friend group chat, and it makes it really easy to share photos, plan upcoming video chats, but it's not just great for the friend and family chats, but also if you have sports teams, workplace teams, and even church groups. In the Band app, the main form of communication is through posts on the group board, on the post, you can write text as long as you want, add photos and videos, add any files, any polls, or add lists like signups and to-do lists. There's a ton of features to the band app. After you post, everyone that's on your band, which is what groups are called, will receive a notification and others can comment on the post. This allows multiple topics to stay in independent threads so it's not just a cluster like most group chats are. There's also privacy built into the band app. You can create private bands and only invite specific members that you want to join. So it's a safe space for those people to communicate that only you pick and choose. There are a lot more features to the band app, so be sure to click that link in the description and go download the band app now. Lately, I've been trying to relax more, do some meditating. The Tide app is very good for that. Uh, it can have a lot of background noise. You'll see maybe we want the ocean sound in the background to just kind of calm us down, relax. They have different things for sleeping, breathing. They also have a lot of meditation you can do. So if we go into meditation, they have different ones like breath, relaxing, body scans, focus. So different ways to actually stay calm, meditate, 
and just kind of stay focused. Some of the apps that I use on the main page, first of all, Relay Pro, it's just a Reddit client that I really like. I like just kind of the short, simple way to get to different things. Maybe we wanna check out this baby possum and then if we tap on it, we can just quickly go into the comments, scroll through and you can skip between all the main threads of comments. It's just a nice way to go ahead and search around through Reddit. Another one being Discord. I do have a Discord server. If you have a Discord account, feel free to join our community Discord. It's actually been really great to communicate with different people. I'll link to that down below. One of the wallpaper apps I like using is called Backdrops. So definitely be sure to install this one if you're someone that likes to switch up your wallpaper at different times. I like how they're more of just kind of graphic designed wallpapers as opposed to maybe pictures of things. That's just kind of my style in general. Sometimes I'll switch to random pictures, but overall I like just graphically designed wallpapers and the Backdrops app does a good job at giving those. Also have these standard social apps, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I did just recently create a TikTok app. This is the first time I've ever actually shared it. You'll see all of the content is just of different tech products. So feel free to follow me if you use TikTok. I'm not much of a TikTok watcher in general, but I will probably transform this into something, maybe some short news snippets in terms of tech or just different things about technology. So feel free to follow me if you use TikTok. Google Duo is another big one I have been using lately, specifically because it is cross-platform in terms of working on iOS and Android. So definitely be sure to get everybody on the Google Duo train for those video calls. A couple other new ones. First of all, Telegram, which is just a chat app that I'm replacing WhatsApp with. WhatsApp, I've just had enough problems with it. So I'm switching over to Telegram. And then since Android lost a big weather app, here's one that I have been trying out. It's called Shadow Weather. It's pretty simple, but it gives you a lot of good information overall in terms of the forecast and what to expect out of the weather. Be sure to just check it out, see if you like it. Finally, some games. Alto's Odyssey is a really nice one because it takes advantage of a higher frame rate and it looks really good on this bigger display with the higher refresh rate too. So it's just an overall really smooth game, nice colors, nice animations, and the sounds are nice too. Just so it's fun to pass some time playing this one. It's a nice chill game. It's nothing you're gonna get worked up playing at all. Essentially, you just make it down the mountain as far as you can without crashing. And you can do different things such as some backflips, collecting coins, bouncing off uh, hot air balloons. So there's a lot, to, a lot of fun different little challenges to do. You see, I just crashed right there. But definitely check this game out. I've been playing it for a while now. Another game called Orbia has been fun. It's just kind of a timing game to get through different levels where you try and just tap to get through. So it's just a lot of timing, making sure you can get to different levels. They have different quests. Again, just another one that's chill, a nice way to pass the time in terms of you just looking to relax. And it can actually get pretty challenging over time. You just have to really be patient and wait for that window to get to the next level. Some of them are easier than others. The ones with multiple levels you'll see are pretty tough. And yes, I do play Call of Duty, PUBG, those style of games, but I also play Sudoku. It's actually a good way for me to start my day. I'll try, I used to do a lot of puzzles on plane rides, but obviously that hasn't been happen, happening recently. So it's nice to kind of just wake up and start, uh, start my day trying to do some Sudokus. And overall, that is everything I wanted to talk about for now with the apps that I'm using on my Android phone. Obviously, I couldn't touch on all of them, but wanted to get to some that are interesting and ones that you might want to try out and that you may not have heard of, as opposed to the standard, oh, I use Instagram on my phone. I wanted to show off a bunch of different ones that you may or may not have heard of. So I hope you enjoyed the video. More to come for sure, so click that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.